can you expect during this August 2023? Stay tuned. Hey, Dreamy Dreamers, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a pick a card on what to expect during the month of August 2023. Now, y'all, we're in for an action-packed August, okay? Not only do we have the peak of the Lionsgate portal happening on 8-8, we also have two retrogrades going through the month of August simultaneously. And I know one retrograde, I believe, is Chiron in Aries, and then the other one is uh, Venus in Venus is in retrograde, okay? So let's hop into your reading. We have four piles, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Pile number one, we have energy with the citrine crystal. Pile number four, pile number two, excuse me, we have friendship with the star um, moonstone or opal. I believe this is a star moonstone. Pile number three, we have travel safe with the Venusian energy rose quartz in the shell. And then we have card number, and then we have knowledge with the clear quartz tower, okay? So I'll give you all some time to meditate on your pile selection. All right, my Jamie Dreamer. So again, pound number one, pound number two, pound number three, and pound number four. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hey, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So before I get into your pile selection card and your crystal, let's shuffle for your reading. Those of you all who would like to skip this part, your timestamps will be in the description box down below. So let's begin. What can our pile number ones expect during the month of August 2023 spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. We're going to choose three cards out of the wisdom of the Oracle deck. Thank you. What can our pile number ones expect during the month of August 2023 spirit? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to get some cards from the Heavenly Body Tar uh, Astrology deck. What can our pile number ones expect, Spirit, during the month of August 2023? Thank you. Thank you. One more card. What can our pile number ones expect during the month of August 2023? Thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages, Spirit, for our pile number ones. What can pile number ones expect during the month of August 2023? So we're going to pull 10 cards, five to get the general consensus of the reading, and then another five to clarify. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What can our pile number ones expect during the month of August 2023? Thank you. Five more cards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Now let's see if we have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. How many good ones? Okay, and then we're gonna do some soul journey cards to end your reading. What should our pile number advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number ones during the during August 2023 spirit? Thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right. So let's get it. Pile numero threes. Okay. I mean, pile number ones. I think pile number ones, I've been calling pile number three. So there could definitely be a message there for you in pile number threes, okay? All right, welcome back, pile number ones, to your reading. So let's start off with your pile selection card. It's card number 13 with energy. So it says, a light inside my fire divine energy fill me, make me shine. So not only am I getting goddess energy, especially with the number 13, the number 13 um, 
correlates to the goddess, right? So you could be feeling just very, like, very glamorous, very regal, very, um, almost like on top of your game pile number ones for the first time in a while as well. So again, we have card number 13, one and three, that's four. So you could be feeling very stable, very just like, almost like luxurious in a sense, right? But I feel like your energy is back and it makes sense because it is Leo season and it's a very energetic season, a very uh, uh, benevolent season and a very uh, just high vibratory season, I would, I would think, right? So again, I feel like you're feeling yourself, you're feeling your energy, you're happy to have your energy back, you know? And I feel like you're really going to um, move forward with this energy and you're really going to take advantage of um, all the abundance of, I know I keep saying energy, but all the abundance of energy that you have, right? You're going to like kind of get some unfinished business finished. You're going to like start maybe a workout routine, a workout regimen, start saving some money, right? And I feel like because your energy is up, you're also going to attract a lot of abundance and a lot of money in the month of August too, especially with the citrine crystal, okay? So let's put your card, your power selection card here and your crystal right over here. And let's get into your reading pile number ones, okay? So let's see. What can you expect during the month of August 2023? So we have card number 20 with Imagine. Yeah, your energy is up, your vibes are high, and you're starting to regain your momentum when it comes to your imagination. And you, I don't know if you guys seen the intro of this video before I started, but I was saying we have two retrograde um two retrogrades happening simultaneously through the month of August. There's the Venus retrograde in Leo, if I'm correct. I could be wrong, but it could be, in, I think Venus is in Leo right now. And we have the Chiron, like the wounded warrior uh, in Aries right now. So if you can tell, there's two portals being open on the sides of this card. And this figure is using the moon as like a balloon. So like, I feel like Sky isn't the limit for you, pile number ones, during the month of August. You have no limits. You know, it's like mean girls. The limit does not exist. Like that is <laughs> what I'm getting for you in the month of August. You don't feel like there's a limit. You feel like your whole, you can touch the moon, right? You can guide the moon and like, you know, that euphemism, shoot for the moon, land among the stars you have the grasp of what it is that you're imagining. Hence why, why she's, or this figure is grabbing this crescent moon, right? This could also be something coming to fruition that you um, maybe wanted to manifest during a new moon cycle, okay? So something could be coming to fruition. Um, today, I'm actually recording this um, reading on the full moon in Aquarius. So something could be coming up for you during this transit. Uh, it could have already came up or uh, it could be coming up by the time I release this video, okay? So let's see. We have card number 17 with the fades. How beautiful is this pile number one? So, so you're imagining your destiny and you're really going to revel in it. Like look at these two uh, feminine figures in these cars. They're very like encapsulated with their themselves. They really love themselves and they're giving themselves the energies that they need to succeed. And that's what I feel like you're really uh, up to right now during the month of August, pile number ones. You guys are really feeling yourselves and loving on yourself and get, giving the energy that you've been needing to give yourself for quite some time. And, you know, maybe uh, in the past, you've been kind of like neglecting that energy and neglecting your imagination and neglecting where it is that you're headed, you know, neglecting your, your sense of whimsy and things of that nature but you're bringing it back during this month of august and i feel like you're going to use this as like a launching board to propel you and to propel your dreams uh so yeah where you want to go pile number ones okay so let's reveal the last card and we have card number 46 regeneration baby yeah so you guys are being regenerate re regenerated during the month of august right uh card number 46 four and six is ten one and zero that's one you're starting fresh and it feels like a 
brand new cycle for you. Pile number um, ones, maybe some a cycle that you have been waiting for for quite some time, right? You're maybe you've been waiting for your energy to get back up so you can regenerate, right? Because a lot of you guys have been forced through the fire, meaning you've been forced through drudgery and circumstances that may not have felt the best, right? But that's what makes us stronger is when we are forced to be out of our comfort zone in any way, shape or form, and we get through it, right? That gives us not even just semblance of hope, but ex the, with the proper expectation of knowing if we made it through this situation, that was hard, that was strenuous, we can make it through anything, right? So yeah, pile number ones. I love this. August looks good on you. Let's just say that, okay? So um, again, card number 17. 17 could be vital for you. Is 17 the star card? So this to me represents the star card, the fates. Uh, and I think that's the number of the regular star card because the star comes after the tower. So yeah, card number 17 could be significant for you or card number eight, right? There could be something huge looming right uh, during this eight, eight portal for you all pile number ones. But let's see, let's get some tarot, okay? So we have nine of swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been kind of going through it in regards to your imagination or your psyche, you know what I'm saying? Your mental health, um, just taking on a lot of burdens from the world. Maybe you've been losing sleep, you know, and I feel like you're going to be regaining um, your stability back when it comes to your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. Uh, we have the pages, page of wands. We have the seven of swords. We have the six of wands, love it. And we have the page of pentacles. So yeah, a lot of page energy, a lot of like newness coming into the forefront for you during the month of August, pile number ones. And I feel like there's been a lot of heavy burdens on your mind uh, before the month of August, but those are gonna be alleviated. I feel like you're starting fresh. You're starting fresh with your energy with the page of wands, okay? The page of wands could also uh, represent like a younger fire sign maybe in your proximity that's giving you kind of like the energy that you may need right now this could be a family friend loved one whomever um or it doesn't have to be this could just be a part of your personality to where you're like you know what i'm starting over i'm starting fresh i want this time in my life to feel like an adventure and that's how i'm going to constitute it that's what I'm going to constitute it as in order to get me through. Like I'm on an adventure. Like I'm not going to continue to let my, my thoughts or my mindset uh, hold me back anymore. Okay. With the page of wands here. And you could also be getting some really good news about something during the month of August. Now with the seven of swords here, I feel like, um, you know, there could have been some type of proverbial theft, like theft of your thoughts, like, you even sharing mind share with other people to the point where you feel like, um, you know, your energy had been taken or like your thoughts had been kind of like bombarded on. But I feel like, um, you know, that wasn't, that wasn't in vain because you're about to start shining in the month of August in regards to like, things are about to pick up. And I love the fact that we have, um, we we have very light energy. There's no major arcanas here right now. So what I'm getting is that this was just a moment in time and I feel like you handled it relatively well. You didn't let it run away with itself, whether that be your thoughts, a bad mentality or a negative mentality or a spiraling negative mindset. You didn't let that run away with itself. You, you kind of took the reins on it, right? How this bear is kind of like taking the reins on this horse and you you triumph over adversity. This is what I'm getting here. In the month of August, there's going to be a lot of triumphing over adversity. And with the Page of Pentacles, I just feel like you're starting something completely fresh in the material realm. You could be going back to school. You could be thinking about um, at least taking some type of course, reading more, like really investing in yourself, right? With the Page of Pentacles here, like really starting over, like almost feeling like you have a clean slate with something. And that could be 
in your material world and in your energetic world as well. So let's um, clarify the rest of these cards. So with the nine of swords, we have temperance. What did I say? You're regaining back your um, your strength, your your mental, um, your mentality, your balance, your chi. You're regaining that, and God's spirit source energy is here with you, right? Um, keeping you balanced, keeping you um, at an equilibrium. Okay, with the Page of Wands, we have the Hierophant. Very interesting. So I feel like with this new start, with this new kind of like restart to your energy, whatever you were going through was like an initiation or like a an up-leveling pile number ones. And I say that because the Hierophant is here. And the Hierophant has been coming out in the collective like sphere, like for at least the past couple of days, like nonstop. Okay. So again, you guys could be thinking about going back to school, taking up some type of like tradition or like higher, higher, um, how can I put it? Higher level tradition, like higher education or marriage or something like that. And I don't really see marriage here per se, but I know that there's been a spiritual up level in your energy. OK, and maybe that's why it was kind of like things had to become chaotic before they could be uh, smoothed out again. OK, so with the seven of swords, we have the ace of wands. Now, the ace of wands did come in reverse. So I feel like um, there was something maybe you were lying to yourself or maybe you were suppressing something or trying to get away with like even being perceived as like normal or like something was normal happening with your energy. But I feel like your energy was like depleted or something either because someone in your environment that was like, I feel like your thoughts, your maybe you started to really kind of ruminate over negative thoughts in the past months. And then in the month of August, like, you're about to be revitalized and recharged with the Ace of Wands. But I feel like initially you weren't getting that, like you were just suppressing like negative thoughts or like low vibrational thoughts instead of like transmuting them. And maybe you didn't realize what was going on and you didn't realize like that was just draining you of your passion of inspiration and everything. But your thoughts were literally like being carried away, if that makes sense. Like you see how like this seven of swords here is like carrying away these swords i feel like you were just trying to do everything all at once at all costs right with the five of swords in in their hands and you were getting carried away so that was depleting you of your energy and i feel like now that you know that you're able to like move forward um with your inspiration with your imagination and with uh your newfound energy okay so with the six of wands we have the page of cups so yeah there's going to be this lightheartedness like you've triumphed over that mental adversity you have right over that little mental crux that happened i feel like there's going to be a lot of lightness a lot of new newness to your energy lightheartedness and even your um intuition is going to be brought back tenfold pile number ones and so our last card we have the seven of wands clarifying the page of pentacles and you're going to be defending your new start in the material world period like you're going to stand your ground in regards to this new start and i'm very proud of to hear that pile number ones you should stand your ground, stand in what you believe in in regards to this new beginning because it's going to work wonders for you in your life. And just to place emphasis on these two major arcanas here, temperance and the hierophant, I feel like you really were, uh, you really have gone under some sort of initiation to where, um, and that's interesting because this pay, this page of wands here is green and then we have a green initiate right or acolyte or whatever they call them in the tarot and then we have these two green people here and I feel like this green person represents you I don't know why I just <laughs> it's the storytelling for me right everyone represents you here but I'm getting like 
you and your action taking. So yeah, so long story short, um, with the temperance and the hierophant, I feel like you are up leveling when it comes to regaining your stability and regaining your natural alchemical powers that you have as well, okay? To be able to transmute things. I feel like maybe you thought you were in the in the months prior, but you were really suppressing and repressing. It was like you, you couldn't understand why um, something was happening. And instead of like transmuting or doing like what you usually would do to get through a situation, you... Yeah, you just ended up suppressing the emotions. But in the month of August, things are going to just completely take a 180 turn. OK, so let's get into your heavenly body astrology cards to, you know, figure out more of what's happening here. OK, so we have Cardinal with instigation, bravery and a pioneering spirit. Yeah, you're on the precipice of something new. You're lighting your way back out of the dark. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but this energy card is surrounded in darkness. But the lady is um, the lady herself is like spotlighted. Right. So I feel like you're you're going to you're going to be the illumination in the dark right? For yourself and for other people. I feel like you maybe had to go through something in the prior months in order to light the way for other people, you know, who may be experiencing that same thing, right? Some of you all could be cardinal signs, Aries, Cancers, Libras, or uh, Capricorns, or you might just need to start embodying more of these cardinal traits that uh, Aries, Cancer, Libras, and Capricorns have. Okay. Yeah. Hard lessons with Saturn here. So we have feel restricted, experience, struggle, learn, hard work, and patience. This was happening. I don't know if like a transit was happening in Saturn. Maybe some of you are experiencing your Saturn Saturn's return. Uh, I know it could last for a couple years, I believe, once you turn like 29. That's what I hear. But I know my Saturn return started at 29. I thought it was over at 29. Mm-mm. <laughs> I don't think so. File number ones. I think um, it just began, you know, during uh, when I was 29. But um, long story short, this could be that cardinal energy here with Saturn, learning how to be brave and learning how to work through the kinks and, and lead with the pioneering spirit and, you know, really kind of be the conduit uh, to teach others, you know, when they, you know, experience some type of you know, struggle or challenges in their lives. Okay. You'll know how to learn how to hard work and have patience with yourself and with others. Okay. So our last heavenly body card, and we have the moon satisfy emotional needs, nurture self and others. What did I just say? It's very interesting. So yeah, so I have a feeling, uh, this full moon in Aquarius, which happened in the OMG, pile number one. So check this out. We're having a full moon in Aquarius, which is today, August 1st. No, today is <laughs> July 31st. Just kidding. Tomorrow's August 1st. But the energy of that full moon will still be very highly prevalent on August 1st. But it would have been a trip if the full moon was in August 1st. And then we have, I, I think, another full moon on August 31st. So if we had a full moon during the first of the month and then a full moon on the very last day of the month, that would have been trippy. But anyways, long story short, the moon is really um, here to tell you that whatever emotions you were going through, whatever, you know, uh, heightened emotions that you had been experiencing it was really there to kind of like bring things up to the surface so you can know how to best deal with them um throughout the month of august you know so yeah pile number ones a lot of transits um so yeah some of you all's moon could be in like capricorn or um in a cardinal sign so aries Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn as well. But yeah, so let's finish your reading with some soul journey cards. So advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number one spirit. So we have acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Yeah, I feel like you're in this state of acceptance right now when it comes to like um, 
your journey, things that happen on the journey, you know, um, maybe a lot of you are trying to build something very substantial and it feels like things are moving so slow and things are so rigid and you can't keep a hold of your energy. But I feel like you're accepting things that are just going to be a theme, but you're going to also work on the things that you can change, okay? And being able to accept the things that you cannot change is just, it's cathartic, right? It'll help you just to traverse any, like, anything that you could be dealing with or maybe just placing too much emphasis on and letting it go versus fighting against it, right? And then once you let go of the things that you can't change, right? I don't know why I'm doing that. Like literally the things that you can't change, you'll be able to place your energy on the things that you can change. And that'll make a hyper impact on your life, pile number one. Oh, okay. And then we have love. I love this. So we sa it says, I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. And I feel like that's what you're accepting too. You're just accepting like, look, I'm not dwelling on bad energy anymore. I'm not dwelling on the negative. I'm dwelling on the things that give me life, that give me energy, that fuel my future. You know what I'm saying? And by doing that, that's really me being in the present moment. So our last card is courage. I love this. Very, very Leo energy. Okay. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Exactly. So you're facing challenges head on in the month of August. You're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for this new beginning that you're implementing to pile number ones. Okay. So I love that for you. Such good energy from this pile. I feel it. I hope you all feel it as well. Um, but yeah, that's all the time that we have for my dreamy dreamers of pile number ones. I love you all so much. If you like this video, if it resonated, please give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, uh, share with anyone who may benefit from the messages provided here today. If you are interested in a beautiful one of a kind tarot journal, look no further. The link to this journal will be in the description box down below. It's only 20 bucks and Amazon will ship it straight to your house. Okay. So I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos. Welcome back to your reading. So before we get started with your pile selection card and your crystal, let's shuffle for your reading. For those of you all who would like to skip this part, your timestamp will be located in the description box below. So let's begin. What can our pile number twos expect during the month of August 2023? Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages on what can our pile number twos expect during the month of August 2023. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages, Spirit, for our pile number twos. What can they expect during the month of, okay, I'll keep this <laughs> during the month of August 2023. Let's see. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What can our pile number twos expect during the month of August 2023? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Perfect. One last deck. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number twos during the month of August 2023 spirit. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. All right, pile number threes, let's get it. Okay, so pile number twos. I'm so sorry. I think I keep calling you guys pile number threes. Please forgive me. There's something in pile number three for some of y'all. So pile number twos. You all chose card number 14 with friendship. And it reads, bring to me friendship, true sharing, laughter, understanding too. Alongside this opal crystal star, okay? So I feel like maybe someone's making a wish to have more solid friendships in their life or to maybe even um, reconciliate with a 
a true friend during the month of August, okay? So we have card number 14. 14 can be significant to some of you all, or the number five, one and four. Uh, numerologically speaking, you add those two digits together, it's five. So it could be... Um, it could be um, symbolizing a lot of change that happened in a friendship. There could be a lot of changes happening in a friendship right now for you, pile number uh, twos. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into more of what this symbolizes as well. And I can see there's like, it looks like leaves growing here. I don't think they're flowers, but yeah, some type of leaves that are growing and almost they look intertwined with one another. So this could be a group of friends. This could, um, you know, just be a friendship that has grown stronger and more healthier over the test of time or the opposite. But let's see. Let's see what, uh, what else this is you should expect during the month of August, okay? So we have card number 27 with exchanging gifts. I love that. Two and seven, that's nine. Yeah, so I feel like this is a good, um, this is definitely like an auspicious card here in regards to friendships. You could be like exchanging gifts with a friend or like uh, being generous with a friend or you could experience a friend being very generous with you right now. We have card number 42, four and two, that's six with chop wood. Okay, you could be working on a friendship or working on a relationship or something like that. Maybe even the friendship with yourself, right? You know, I feel like we should a lot of the times be our own best friends. And I feel like you could be working on a friend, friendly relationship with yourself, being kind to yourself, liking yourself, enjoying your own company. Or if this is uh, another, if this is involved with another person, you definitely could be working on a relationship with another person or a person uh, from the past or even a relationship that you currently have wants to work on a relationship with you and wants to exchange gifts with you. This could be talents. This could be actual, you know, gifts. This could be um, something like that in order to kind of like maintain the relationship, right? With chopping wood here to make sure everything is clean. Everything's out in the open. You see how these uh, doors are open to get in some fresh air, almost like to refresh or to rekindle the relationship that you guys once had. And, and again, this could be a relationship with yourself as well. Okay, last but not least, we have card number four with higher power. Very interesting. It's been a while since this card has came out. So I feel like maybe th this is like ordained to happen, right? Like there is this um, spiritual significance maybe with this friendship that that is uh, causing for, you know, this to continue to be established as well and continue to be refined as well but it's something it's something it's a gift from spirit it's a gift from god right um and i i really feel like higher power in this friendship card is is connected so this is um something higher at play here from spirit and this could be the key that unlocks a lot of things uh a lot of I ideals, a lot of ideas, a lot of things uh, that you have wanted in your life, okay? Especially with the star um, opal being here, I feel like, yeah, this is definitely like if you're working on a relationship or, you know, if a friend has really been like true to you and really been helping you, I feel like you're really going to feel the emphasis that that has in your life during the month of August. Okay. So let's get into your tarot right now. Pile number, pile number twos and see what's really going on and what you can expect during the month of August. All right, let's see. So we have five of pentacles. We have the hangman, we have the nine of wands, we have the 10 of wands, very interesting. And we have the ace of swords, okay. 
So I feel like if this is just in regards to a friendship during the month of August, pile number twos, there could have been like this stuckness or this stalemate energy that you've had with like a certain friend. Maybe this friend felt left out in the cold when they needed you the most or something like that, or vice versa. You could have, could have felt left out in the cold when us uh, you needed someone the most, right? And look, definitely, I, w I love these little gummy bear tarots because they, I like the same same color because <laughs> it kind of tells a story right so there's two friends here there's two people here that know each other that are you know they're together right their partner or something and we have this red gummy they're on like one leg right now you know they're they're suffering right now and this gummy is kind of like they're just going forward you know they're they're moving forward so you can kind of even see like look how this led to this, right? This person feeling stuck, this person feeling trapped, even by their one leg. And now they're, you know, kind of like down and out. So I feel like there could have been even like a little miscommunication that was kind of hard for someone that maybe they had to like really protect themselves and um, put, put their guard up or something like that. You could have also been dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, there was a lot of overwhelming burdens on this person or something like that. And take it as it resonates, pile number twos. But I feel like towards the end of August, there's going to be clarity. Like you guys are going to make amends. You guys might talk or something like that. If you haven't been in communication for a while, there could be this open communication with each other and you actually telling each other what happened or something like that in order to save and, you know, save and mend the friendship right because you guys are supposed to be in each other's lives okay so if that resonates definitely take it pile number twos but if it doesn't this could be like an internal thing with yourself you finding it hard to like trust yourself or trust the people around you because uh you could just feel very stuck in life or out of stalemate energy in life right now and i feel like you're about to gain more clarity in the month of august like although you have been through the drudgery although you've had to defend yourself and recuperate right your losses or whatever um the hardest part is over and now you're gaining clarity on the people in your life who really love and care about you and who value value you despite what you may think you know so beautiful we have the sun card yeah so there's always a light at the end of the tunnel is what i'm getting and uh i feel like in the month of august you guys are definitely going to be vindicated you're going to feel anew you're going to have a lot of clarity a lot of focus on the things that you can control and the things that uh are plentiful in your life right so you see that these bears and the five of pentacles are in this darkness right and then the sun comes out uh melts the proverbial snow and uh brings life once again okay we have the seven of pentacles clarified by uh clarifying the hangman yeah so i feel like um this has a lot to do with i feel like you've been feeling stuck because you or a friend whomever you know take it as it resonates but someone has been been feeling stuck because they've been trying to work on something and they were trying to see on whether whatever they were working on was worth all the effort, all the time, all the investment that they put in it, whether they should do that or start over. And I feel like some, maybe someone wasn't communicating that uh, to someone else and there could have been a lapse in communication, which led to like, you know, people being defensive or putting their guards up or something like that. With the nine of wands, we have the knight of wands. Okay. So yeah, this could be I could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe, you know, they are feeling a little defensive or impulsive, making decisions, right? Because they're healing or something like that. Um, but yeah, or you could be defending yourself against a, a fire sign that's kind of like... Um, you know, in this stage of impulsivity, because it's it's taking a toll on you. So you have to really defend yourself right now or protect yourself or place boundaries is what I'm trying to say. You could be placing boundaries with a fire sign or or if it's not a fire sign, your own impulsivities. Right. OK. And with the Ten of Wands, we have the Three of Swords. 
Yeah, so someone could have just been going through it, just been heavy, heavy hearted, heavy hearted, overburdened, overstressed, overworked, and it's just taking their toll. It's just taking a toll on them, right? in many areas in like their root chakra and their heart chakra and their solar plexus chakra. I always get that because if you can see the little three gummy bears on the tips of the swords, um, not the tips of the swords, but on the handle of the swords, I always think like root chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra. So it could have really taken a toll on them in so many different areas of their life, right? And last card, we have the Nine of Cups. So yeah, with the Ace of Swords being clarified by the Nine of Cups, I feel like someone's going to soon realize that, you know what, everything is okay. Like they have all their ducks in a row. They're feeling content right now. And they haven't, <clears throat> excuse me, achieved a certain victory by the end of this month, right? That could be in regards to healing, getting to the heart of a matter, getting to the heart of a situation, although it's very burdensome and heavy. Uh, for this person, but there is definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like God, spirit, source, energy wanted um, some of you all to go through this or like not even just wanted you guys to go through this, but wanted you guys to see uh, that towards the end, everything was going to pan out well. You know what I'm saying? They say, if it's not the end, then it, what? All is well that ends well. And if it, if it isn't the end, then it's not over or something like that. I'm paraphrasing, but I know you guys know the um, the quote that I'm alluding to. So let's get some Heavenly Body Astrology cards to really flesh out the rest of this reading. So we have the North Node with Destined to Have. So I feel like a lot of you all are following your calling, following your North Node. And sometimes you have to slay the proverbial dragons. You have to like, you know slay those demons inside right that we all have you know and they're not literal demons but they're like things that we suppress or repress deep down in our subconscious mind and um if we don't the deeper we push it down the less we really understand what's going on because it hasn't come to the surface yet so once it does rear its head to the surface and we have to slay those dragons that we've been suppressing sometimes it could it could really be hard but with the north node destined to have i feel like you've slayed the dragon you've traversed the mountains you've crossed the river so to speak and so you're continuing on your path to success or your path to where it is that you're headed so we have air with open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, we're all just learning, you know, and I feel like you've really come to an area in your life where you just, you're really trying to learn yourself and learn others and lo learn how to coexist peacefully with others and to communicate peacefully with others, especially with air signs, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, you could be exuding some of these air sign traits as well, maybe like a little detached, you know, energy as well. But, you know, there could be a detachment, an air of detachment in your in your heart right now or in how you're handling things, pile number twos, okay? And last but not least, we have the... I couldn't even get it out. House nine, the ninth house with spiritual growth. Yeah, so I feel like you're exhibiting a lot of spiritual growth right now. You're learning what's important to you, what to deal with now, what to hold off until later. Um, you're really trying to learn prioritizations, prioritizations in your friendships, your relationships, because they hold a lot of spiritual growth for us. All relationships do, right? If you want to spiritually grow quick, get into a relationship or really lean into your relationships that you're already in right so um yeah let's end your reading with some advice guidance and wisdom from spirit so we have balance i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment yeah you're learning how to balance yourself and your relationships your friendships your your romantic relationships your uh familial relationships right now and I know that could be hard. Uh, it could be a task because it requires a lot of balance, right? It requires a lot of vi persistence and vigilance on your part too, <clears throat> to maintain as close of a balance as you possibly can with others. 
Friendship, come on. These are two different decks. Bean. Yeah, this is a heavy emphasis on friendship, pile number twos. So it says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Exactly. You guys are definitely in each other's lives for a reason, for spiritual growth, for some type of maintaining some type of balance, something like that. That's very interesting, pile number twos. And this friendship card is relating to this pink. So I feel like you it could be like a close girlfriend that's in your life or, you know, a close female relationship that's in your life that's super important for you right now and our last card we have indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of my life so there could have been this emphasis on you could have been like maybe indecisive when it came to like um a friendship or a relationship in your life but i feel like god spirit source energy is recommending you use don't be indecisive. Be decisive. Take decisive action about what you want. And you can do that by tapping into your intuition in every aspect of your life, not just certain aspects, but every aspect. And that could be in the aspect of friendship and finding balance with others, right? You remember how I told you guys like a couple readings back, the reason why we establish boundaries in the first place is so we can keep certain people in our lives. Uh, who maybe we may love very dearly, but um, at times they could overwhelm us or at times we might not know how to, we can't balance them, right? We have to just continue to work on ourselves. So we maintain boundaries in order to keep that relationship in our lives, but also give us the space to digest and be ourselves and to circumvent taking on too much of another person's energy, okay? So friendships are really highlighted and spotlighted for you, all pile number twos in the month of August. And yeah, my lovely Dreamy Dreamers, that is all the time that I have for this reading. I really love you guys. I really hope you guys appreciated the reading and resonated in some way, shape, or form. There were definitely synchronicities here. So take what resonated, leave the rest. Um, if you like this reading, please give this reading a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. If you are interested in a beautiful, one-of-a-kind, special made tarot journal, look no further. The link to this journal will be in the description box below. It's beautiful, one-of-a-kind, designed by the world-renowned Sandrine Ann. Um, I will list her um, Instagram in my bio as well. We worked hard on this, y'all. So support us. It's only 20 bucks and Amazon will ship it straight to your house. And you guys will love this journal. It's so fun. And it's kind of like a fresh take on a tarot journal. So yours will, um, I mean, yeah, yours in the description box down below. So clock one. Okay. So I love you all so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes. Welcome back to your reading. So before we start with your pile selection card and your crystal, let's get some of, let's get your cards shuffled. Okay. So what can our pile number threes expect during the month of August? If you all would like to skip this part, your timestamp will be in the description box down below. What can our pile number threes expect during the month of August? We're going to pull your tarot first. We're going to get 10 cards, five for a story, and then another five to clarify. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, God. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What can our pile number threes expect during the month of August, spirit? Two more cards. Okay, we're going to keep this one and this one clear concise accurate messages spirit what can our pile number perfect <laughs> threes expect during the month of august clear concise accurate messages what can our pile number Threes expect during the month of August, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. And we're going to use the soul journey card to get advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number threes during the month of August. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, let's get into your reading. Pile number threes. All right, so pile number threes, you all chose, or these cards chose you. We have card number 22 with safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. However, you guys got an additional card, okay? And we have card number six, true love come to me. True love shall come to me as I do will, so mote it be. So this card came out in reverse. I usually don't read Oracle cards in reverse, but something told me to keep it because I'm getting like, there could be maybe some some distance between you and a true love right now or like you could be calling in a true love right now but since we are uh in the precipice of the venus retrograde maybe now wouldn't be the proper time to call in love at this very moment or if you do call in love to really go slow to travel safely right don't gun like don't go full steam ahead like maybe keep things at a tranquil, stable um, pacing right now is what I'm getting. I'm, I'm really getting, for the most part, the pacing of the connection if you guys do call in love during the month of uh, August, okay? Uh, some of you all could be traveling as well. And uh, you might meet someone that seems like, oh, yeah, I want to, you know, do this and that with you. I want to... I want to pursue something with you, but it might, everything might not be as it seems right now. Okay. And with, um, your rose quartz crystal in the shell, I love this shell. I don't, I kept it for years because it's just so perfect. But, um, again, with your rose quartz crystal in the shell, this could be like, you could be getting a lot of love offers right now or attracting a lot of love because you're exuding some type of like Venusian energy some type of like goddess, divine, feminine type of energy. But let's get into the reading and see what else is coming up for you during the month of August, or let's compound upon this uh, storyline, okay? So let's see. So we have card number five with Orphan. I was going to say this could also be an ex trying to come back or trying to manifest you back because they feel orphaned, they feel abandoned, right? There, there have been a lot of changes, right? And it's interesting because we have card number 22, two and two, that's four. We have card number five. We have card number 26, so two and six, but then we also have uh, two and six is eight. So there's there could be this infinite Infinity loop going on with you and someone else, uh, maybe an ex or something like that. And it's like it keeps going back. It keeps going back to the same thing, although maybe you thought you've let it go or you, this person could even thought they let it go. But, you know, they keep thinking about the past, like their thoughts keep traveling back to the past. Right. We have card number 22 again with blessed. OK. So I feel like you're blessed and you're protected regardless. Card number 22, you could be seeing 222 a lot. Um, and that could just be symbolizing everything is okay. Like you're okay. Everything is okay. You're blessed. You're highly favored. Continue to move forward, okay? And we'll, we'll, whatever you're going through, okay? Some of you all might um, have some turbulence in a relationship, but knowing that the connection is blessed and, and, you know, it's just due to the transits or it's just due to uh, the retrogrades that's happening right now. So you could be feeling a little lost or saddened by this like turbulence happening in your relationship, but ultimately everything is working in your favor. Okay. In our last card, we have card number 38, to be fair, okay? So yeah, things are balancing themselves out. You could have been feeling like lost lately or lonely. Um, maybe when it came to like the person that you love, maybe they weren't there as often as you would want them to be. But in the month of August, things are really balancing out is what I'm getting. And you're continuing to use your intuition and your spiritual faculties to... <clears throat> pray for salvation to pray for like some type of sturdiness in your mind body soul and affairs okay so i love that so let's get more let's get into your tarot pile number threes okay clear concise accurate messages on what our pile number threes can expect during the month of august so we have the king of wands 
I love that. I feel like you're taking the lead on a lot of things during the month of August. We have the star, beautiful. We have the seven of swords. Yeah, some of you all might have came from pile number ones. We have the six of swords, love that. And we have the death card, okay? I'm sorry, you guys, for that alarm going off. I am so sorry, guys, for the alarm going off in the background. Please excuse me. Hopefully it goes off soon. <laughs> or hopefully you guys can't hear it. But okay, so with the King of Wands, the Star, the Seven of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Death card, what I'm getting is there full there's going to be a full transition here. I feel like you're really like leaving behind like lower vibrational ways of thinking or thoughts right now, and you're really taking the lead uh on where it is that you want to be or where it is that you want to go now for some of you all if this is involving a relationship you could be dealing with a, a fire sign aries leo sagittarius or a king of wands-esque energy that is very dominant that's very um you know maybe even attractive or something like that or uh this could be an ex that really wants to manifest you back with the star card, right? Or that feels like they've healed for the most part, but wants to, you know, get back in your good graces. Now with the seven of swords here, I feel like awe isn't what it seems. Like this person could have transformed, could have like, you know, did the whole, ran the whole gamut, right? When it came to transforming their lives. But I just feel like you guys aren't really maybe a fit anymore and god spirit source energy is protecting you all the way hence the six of swords i feel like you've already kind of moved forward with your life in regards to this connection for some of you this is how this is playing out but um they're still kind of trying to maybe are up to their old tricks and trying to get you to pay attention to them in some way but you kind of have your back turned so to speak right yeah. So um, with the death card here, I feel like, yeah, this could have been a breakup. This could have just been a transition uh, with someone as well. But I also feel like um, with this death card, like you are just no longer placing emphasis on the past. You're moving forward, right? You are wanting to have this new rebirth with yourself in regards to um you know, where it is that you want to be and who you want to be. Okay, so we actually have six cards. I didn't mean to pull all these cards, but we have uh, one additional card for your reading. But let's clarify some of these cards. So King of Wands, yeah, we have the lovers. So uh, this could have been like a soulmate connection or something like that. You could be dealing with the King of Wands here, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well, uh, maybe who you're in a relationship with currently. We have the star card with the four of swords. Yeah, I feel like maybe there was a break taken here uh, to heal, okay? Or you might be taking a break to heal uh, with this person. But if this was an ex, this was a uh, soulmate type of connection. And I feel like maybe you guys broke up or took a break for healing purposes or something. But let's let's finish the reading. So we have the seven of swords with the fool, okay? So I feel like someone just was kind of lollygagging, just thinking everything was going to be okay. There could have been a new beginning that was like based off of lies or something like that, not the truth. Or this person is going to try to start a new beginning with you. And it's not based on anything real. It's not, it's just based off of winning. It's just based off of them wanting to win at all costs because they felt defeated so if there is an ex trying to come back into your life i don't know i don't think i would take them back in so quickly if i were you pal number threes with the six of swords we have the three of wands yeah i feel like this is you like you've moved on you're you know you're expanding, you know, you're expanding your mind, you're really growing, you know, you are waiting for your ships to come in and you're not really dwelling on this person too hard, okay? And then with the death, we have the eight of cups. Yeah, like someone's walking away from something or someone uh, or could be 
wanting to end a connection just due to their own spiritual growth, right? Or if this is in regards to an ex, you're like, no, you're like not going for it with the death card and the eight of cups. You're like, I said what I said, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm blessed where I'm at. I'm just, I'm gonna keep it moving. That's what I'm getting overall. Like this person in question could be like really thinking about you heavily, wanting to run into you, wanting to bump into you, uh, wanting to see you again or something like that. And you are just headed to the straight and narrow. Like you're like, I'm focused on my life right now. Okay. And the last card that came out, we have justice. Yeah. Balance. You're maintaining your balance by all means, pile number um, threes. You're not letting anyone get you off your course anymore. Okay. That could be exes, whatever. Oscillator. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. So, and it's interesting because in regards to true love come to me, I feel like this once you could have felt like, oh my gosh, this connection was meant to be, but it was like almost like a false person, so to speak. But let's get let's let's get some more information um, with your heaven heavenly body astrology cards. Mm -hmm. So we have Uranus with radically change. Okay, we have the fifth house with passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. I feel like you've changed radically. Like you're just not you're no longer going with the okie doke anymore pile number threes and our last card we have south note destined to release yeah you're just destined to release this person so if i were you i know i'm filming this on the full moon in aquarius release this person once and for all get them out of your energy um field because i feel like this person might try to like astral travel into your dreams in certain ways and Mm -mm. And I feel like because you might believe in like that, like, oh, this can happen or this person can actually do that. It, it They can because you have the belief that they can do that. So you could either release the belief that this person could contact you in on the psychic realm. You could release um, them overall. Just keep releasing them. And yeah. But yeah, this is definitely like a karmic relationship that um, you're just destined to release. So they can't like try to weasel their way back in. <clears throat> but let's get some advice, guidance, and wisdom for your reading, for the end of your reading, pile number threes. We have forget forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, I feel like you're going to forgive this person and just release them respectfully. I feel like you <clears throat> continue to forgive this person. You don't have to be harsh to them or like feel any type of way about whatever happened in the past, the past in the past, let it go, accept it, embrace it and continue to move forward because you are divinely blessed. We have honesty. It says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. I feel like you're being honest with yourself. You might be honest with them like, hey, it's over. <laughs> like, there's nothing you can do, you should do in order to, you know, have this continue at all. Like, it's over, over. Okay. And maybe you're being more so honest with yourself about it. So you're really um, focused heavenly, heavily on the forgiveness aspect of this person. Um, and our last card is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Exactly. I feel like you've changed a lot. Um, your focuses have changed. Your direction has changed, right? And you're just releasing everything that no longer serves you that you're destined to release. I feel like you are destined to release this connection for a very long time and you're going to continue to do that more and more so you can free yourself and you know have yourself be balanced out and um vindicated and something be officially kind of like severed in the best ways possible pile number threes okay so yeah my lovely dreamy dreamers that is all the time that i have for you my angels um i love you so much if you like this reading and if it resonates please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone with best benefit from the messages provided here today if you are interested in a stunning one-of-a-kind tarot journal look no further the link to this journal will be in the description box down below the lovely 
one of a kind, Sandrine and my artist or the artist that I collaborated with, excuse me, um, made this journal, well, helped to illustrate this journal. And I, you know, constructed the inside and um, wrote everything about, you know, the different major arcanas, minor, minor arcanas, and the spreads and everything. So you guys will definitely love this journal. You'll get the bang for your bucks and you could follow along with our readings here or any other readings that you frequent here on YouTube with this journal. It's really fun and it's interactive and it'll actually help to refine your intuition a lot better. Um, so yeah, it's only 20 bucks. The link for this will be in the description box down below. I love you all so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, hey, pile number fours, welcome back to your reading. So before we get started with your pile selection card and your crystal, let's shuffle for your reading. So for those of you all who would like to skip this part, your timestamp will be in the description box down below. I've already pre-shuffled off camera, so let's begin. What can our pile number fours expect during the month of August 2023 spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you. What can our pile number three fours expect during the month of August 2023 spirit? Thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number fours during the month of August. Thank you and thank you. Okay, so let's get into your tarot. We're going to pull 10 cards. What can our pile number fours expect during the month of August 2023? What can pile number fours expect? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What can our pile number fours expect during the month of August 2023? 20, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's count these to see if we have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need one more. One more card for our pile number fours during the month of August, 2023. What can they expect, Spirit? Thank you. All right, now let's get some advice, guidance, and wisdom to end off your reading during the month of August, 2023. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okie okay, doke, pile number fours. Let's begin. Okay, so pile number four is we have card number 28 with knowledge. It says, let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. So I feel like you guys could be putting oil into your lamp right now. You guys could be like refining your skills, be wanting to know more about your lineage, where you come from, so you can know where you're going. Okay, card two and eight, card number 28, that's 28. Some of you all may be 28 years old. 28 could be a significant number for you. Two and eight, that's 10. One and zero, that's one. I feel like you could be starting over, maybe wanting to go back to school or refine your knowledge on something. You could be reading a lot, wanting to just learn more about your craft or what it is that you're doing, um, or uh, just wanting to just be in, enthralled with knowledge right now, pile number fours, okay? But I feel like you guys are going to be putting into your lamp. You guys are going to be tapping into your uh, ancestral reservoirs, okay? There could be something that's coming up to the surface, something that you didn't know about yourself or know about your family or something else too. And you're gaining more knowledge through that, okay? But let's get into your first three cards. We have card number 44, Go the Distance. So Card number 47, excuse me. So four and seven, that's 11. You could be seeing the numbers 11, 11 a lot or 111, which is symbolizing that you're almost... You're almost to like a destination. Keep going. Call on your ancestors. Ask your ancestors for guidance, wisdom, insight, and whatever it is that you're doing so you could keep going forward and moving forward because you're almost to the finish line, pile number four is okay. We have card number 45 with time to go, okay? So you could be feeling like 
your ancestors are leading you somewhere different than where you're currently headed. Um, and with time to go, you some certain habits, traits that have kept you from reaching this finish line uh, from the beginning could be dissipating or it's time to release them and finally let them go. And I feel like your ancestors, your angels, ancestors and guides, God, spirit, source, energy is imbuing you with this knowledge right now of self. OK, and our last card, we have card number 15. No place like home. Yeah. So you could be this is very interesting. I feel like you could be really searching for like a home. And I feel like you're leaving your comfort zone in order to find a semblance of home that you've never had, right? Some of you all could be light workers or like um, star seeds if you subscribe to that. And you could feel like, dang, earth is such... It's like not my home, but I feel like you could be feeling at home more when you're in community with other like-minded individuals or like knowing that home is where the heart is. So wherever your heart is wanting to go, that's where your newfound home is going to be. You could be like feeling like you're in this state of flux, right? Like you're in this impasse that you don't, you know, the path ahead is very elusive, but you're willing to take the risk in order to see, you know, what else is out there. But I know you're about to arrive onto something pretty good, pretty grand. Pile number four is if you just keep going, don't give up. Okay. So let's see, let's pull some of your tarot to see what's actually happening here. We have the two of pentacles. We have the page of wands. We have judgment. We have seven of cups and we have five of wands. Okay. So there could be some conflict uh, happening in the month of August in regards to like your work life balance. Um, I feel like you're trying to learn how to balance your emotions and balance what you have to do on a daily basis. With the Page of Wands, I feel like you are up for the challenge, right? I feel like with Go the Distance and the Page of Wands, it's saying like you have the green light to pursue whatever you're trying to pursue, whether this is an adventure, whether this is a brand new start uh, with your energy or like an energetic new start, you have the green light. So just go forward, right? Uh, with judgment, I feel like um, there's this awakening, this aha moment that's happening in your life where, you know, you could kind of go in either which direction. You have a lot of options at your disposal right now, but don't allow the options to confuse you, okay? Stay on the course. Stay, stay on the course of where you're going. And just know that in time, as long as you continue to stay on your rightful right course and pray, ask God, spirit, source, energy, your angels, ancestors, and guides for clarity, for guidance to lead the way they will, right? So you won't get confused and you won't have this like internal battle or like even an external battle with people that you love, right? You could keep your heart healthy, which is like really our, our homes, right? That's what I feel like, because I'm getting with this card, card number 50, no place like home. Home is where the heart is. So where's your heart right now? There's a lot of these green gummy bears in these cards. So I feel like this is you, pile number um, pile number four, signifying that heart, that heart chakra energy. I feel like your heart chakra is really going to be open to learning um whatever it is that you may need to know during this time in the month of august as well so to clarify the two of pentacles we have the knight of swords i feel like this changing or this balancing could be taking place like right now you could be in the midst of it you could be in the midst of it and it could be coming very quickly into your life this this new found state of balance or something that you might have to balance simultaneously with the page of wands, we have the lovers. Okay. So I feel like, again, you could be headed in like a new direction, or you could be like, um, really focused on a, a certain path that you're taking in life that you, you know, you could have, you could go this way, you could go that way. 
there could be like a new energetic adventure that you take with like a soulmate connection of yours, like a loved one or something like that. Uh, with judgment here, we have the queen of wands. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, you're, you are awakening to your essence that you can be this stable person that juggles, uh, your emotions with your work and make it look effortlessly because you're using your intuition. You're using your heart to guide you. Okay. With the seven of cups, we have the hangman. Uh, and the hangman did come in reverse. So I feel like you're going to have a lot of options, like whatever that was stuck for you in regards to like, maybe you felt like you had no options. Maybe like you, you felt like you had nowhere else to go. You now you have somewhere to go. Like all those uh, obstacles have been obliterated in your path. And now, you know, the way, you know, like, okay, I have option A, option B, option C. So let me just keep going on my path. So like when I'm ready, ready, all these options will still be here for me. And then I could I could, I could choose accordingly, right? And our last uh, tarot to clarify the five of wands is the queen of pentacles, okay? So yeah, there could have been some external or internal battle with like your worth and like, you know, your finances and, you know, really how to, you know, tighten, tighten up your budget, tighten up uh, making more money, having more influx of money come in. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you have been very conflicted about that, but I feel like there is some type of resolution coming in as well, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is all about her abundance and is all about maintaining her abundance so they can help other people in the process, okay? But I feel like you're, you're really getting it together. You're really being able to balance and juggle and you know, kind of, it's funny because I'm getting like the four of pentacles would signify more of a budgeting aspect. Um, but it was almost like you had been feeling, or you maybe will feel towards the end of August, there's still a little conflict in your abundance, but you're working on it. Like you're almost there. And it's interesting because we have the lovers and the hangman and the judgment card as a major arcana, but uh, I feel like uh, the decisions that you're about to make, it, it stemmed from this awakening, like, no, I need to take another route or do something different. And so, you know, it might be a strenuous path during this month of August, but I feel like you're finding enlightenment and you're finding exactly how to do something and what to do. So, uh, yeah, you're gaining a lot of knowledge through like an uncomfortable, you know, little situation here so let's let's pull some of the these heavenly body uh, astrology cards all right so we have pisces intimacy intuition and compassion some of you could be pisces or some of you could be uh uh have a lot of pisces aspected in your natal chart others could just be embodying uh the intimacy and the intuition and compassion that you have to have for yourself and others during this time we have fixed, I love, love this, stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability, okay? And the fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, uh, I think that's Scorpio, and uh, Aquarius, right? So you could, you could be embodying some fixed traits right now during the month of August, which is great because Pisces are so fluid, right? And their approach, sometimes they get they are a little bit too relaxed with what's happening with them, right? Instead of being fixed on like, okay, no, I am stable. I am persistent and I am loyal to what I believe in, right? Sometimes Pisces, me, myself being a Pisces, we could be easily led astray. And I feel like with the clear quartz crystal tower here, you guys are coming out of that. You're finding more clarity in regards to gaining knowledge on how to, um, fix a situation, right? How to, how to work it out. And last card here is the second house with physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. What did I just say in regards to the queen of pentacles? There could have been some conflict in regards to your self-worth and am I worthy to have this amount of money? Am I worthy to make this amount of money? And I feel like towards the end of um, August, you're going to like put your hand up and be like, of course you are. Like you have intrinsic value that can never be lost nor destroyed like since birth. So yes, you are. It's just really fixing your mindset 
to knowing that without a shadow of a doubt, you are worthy of everything that you want, right? So let's get some advice, guidance, and wisdom from spirit to end your reading. We have love. I love that. It says, and you know, love backwards is evolve in a way, evolution, whatever. Uh, I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. And I feel like you really are seeing the best in it. You really are seeing the best in yourself and everyone else uh, in the month of August. We have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. That's hilarious. Well, that's not hilarious, but I feel like you're going to put your pride aside. Like I'm, I'm getting the song by Sade, Love is Stronger Than Pride. So as long as you continue to put love at the forefront of everything that you do, you'll be a okay pile number four is okay and i love myself and i see myself in everyone and notice that the people in your life that you might feel triggered by pile number fours they're just a projection of you or a figment of you pushed out so if they're seeing if they're having success if they're whatever the case is it's vice versa it's something that is uh, happening to you, maybe on another timeline, or that can happen to you because you're in proximity to these people, right? So I feel like your love is going to be stronger than your pride in the month of August, which is beautiful. And our last card, or it should be, okay? You should focus on your love being stronger than your pride. And we have our last card, which is courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. I feel like you're really going to face your you know proverbial um demons okay and i hate saying demons because i know people kind of like take it out of context but i mean we all have our lower nature we all have the lower selves that we have to quell right like the strength card and find courage to do that because it's hard especially in times that we live in now which can be so chaotic so confusing sometimes we need or feel like we need vices to tether us down to like try to make sense of things but in reality we kind of only use it to suppress certain things and make we end up making matters worse but i feel here you're really coming out of that and you're really like going to be persistent persistent in your stability and loyal to you and you're going to be a very dependable person in the month of august and really more so for yourself than anybody else you're going to find your natural home inside of your heart pile number fours and i feel like your angels ancestors and guides are leading you there okay so i love this reading for you pile number four has been such an honor and a privilege to be able to read for um all of my lovely dreamy dreamer angels okay so with that being said i love you all so much if you if you enjoyed this reading if it resonated in any way shape or form please like this reading uh, share and subscribe to the channel. If a loved one or a friend could, you know, benefit from this reading, please send it to them. Um, if you all are interested in a beautiful one-of-a-kind tarot journal illustrated by the lovely Sandrine Ann, the link to this journal will be in the description box down below. It is on Amazon and Amazon will ship it straight to your house or wherever you get your shipments at. Okay. It's only 20 bucks and um, it will really help the channel. So thank you guys in advance. Uh, I love you so much. Pile number fours. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye.